Hey, good afternoon, people. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, I'm not <laughs> because uh, <laughs> fucking Apple, bloody it's loads of design for right. This this uh, A1708 came in for a, a logical repair, which I've done absolutely fine. It's working and uh, all, all all the diagnostic and everything's been done. I've tested it fine. Uh, she's had it for about a month and then. She sort of text messaged me to say that uh, uh, the, the, the MacBook's uh, got no display. You can hear chime, you can hear all the clicking and all this business, but it's not sort of, uh, to, there's, no dis, there's no sort of backlight basically, um, or image. But the image was there, but no, no backlight. So this is a quite a bad design flaw with the MacBook um, um, a1708 and maybe some other models as well. And uh, look, it's working. All right, but as soon as I twist, open up the uh, LCD further back, watch what happens. See that? Okay, so now the screen won't come. All right, so until I, I close it off or I do a hard restart, it won't come. There you go. Watch what happens goes off right so let's try this again and it, that's as far as you can open up basically so let's close this again one more time okay so as you can see here that this is actually not a backlight circuit issue on the logic board right the issue what you have here is let me get you get you an LCD assembly that's a screen for, 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 for it's a cracked screen uh, of an A1708, basically. Um, your culprits are these flex. Them. And sadly, these are, these are, the, the, there's no way of fixing these flexes, basically. Them flexes, they've got microscopic crack on them, on the solder traces. And that's that's the reason why it's doing what it's doing, basically. Is as soon as you open up further back, the, the, the crack opens up and it disconnects the backlight side of it. Now, sadly, um, I can't see a way of repairing this, basically. Um, I, can, I can see some wires. Uh, while well, the copper traces are uh, running and sadly because they're so fine and so close you know i'm tempted i'm quite tempted to sort of uh, uh run small solder wire uh, sort of small wires basically from one end to the other end basically and see if that would resolve the issue but very tempted okay now what i don't know for sure which i need to figure out is the backlight basically which is the backlight on the uh I might run a continuity to test from 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 the backlight pin on this from this here this connector onto these basically so it could be the small ribbons which actually supports the backlight either them two my my gut feeling says from my experience is that the bigger two them are going to be likely to be the, the the data line for the screen and the image and everything else and the inner two are likely to be the backlight or one out of the two is likely to be the backlight basically so I, I am going to be experimenting this at some degree to try and see if that is if if it is fixable um sadly i do have a spare screen but i can't i can't swap it out basically and it's a faulty screen as well so the chances of um, it being bad is 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 quite quite significantly high so let me keep this spare screen um so there 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 we are okay if you've got an a1708 um and a couple of other models let me sort of uh see if you just give me one sec let me, there was a list of just give me one sec okay so the list of uh macbook uh that uh sort of uh just sort of uh, come on so sort of messing around um uh, where is it gone just lost it then for a second it was here there oh come on I'm, be, I'm getting trolled here right okay i am getting trolled here now just, just hang in there for me let me just find the bloody thing okay so macbook pro 
Oh, the, these are 13 inches that I'm going to go MacBook Pro 2016, 2017, um, two Thunderbolt, three port, and then MacBook um, again 13 inch 2016, four Thunderbolt, three port, um, MacBook Pro again thir 13 inch 2017, um, four Thunderbolt, three port, uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch. 2018 four Thunderbolt three port and then you move on to the 15 inch which is a MacBook Pro 15 inch 2016 2017 and 2018 so and and there may be others basically um, okay right okay that there is there is a good possibility that uh, this could be done uh, the repair could be done free of charge, basically. Uh, apparently, the solution, I'm looking at a, a website, basically, which uh, Lewis Rossman's actually posted. Um, that says, so, of uh, Apple must launch an extended must. All right, that's a recommendation, that, basically. Not a thingy. Um, yeah, I've been looking through some of the forums just to see if there is a recall on this, basically. But, no, there isn't. So, which means that you're a, you, you're left with a hefty bill of around about five £600, basically, which I'm not prepared. So... <clears throat> I'm quite happy to repair this for the customer at the cost of what it costs, basically. Hence, I did sort of uh, make the customer aware that under the consumer's law that she can sort of approach Apple and see what they've got to say because it's a manufacturing defect. It's not fucking part of wear and tear, right? These things should be designed. They cost an arm and a leg. It's not a £500 laptop. You're talking in excess of like £12, £13, £14, £1,500 up to several thousand pounds. So you would expect at least a good six year. Now, when you're talking about consumer's law, um, what that means is that, first of all, it, if you're in the UK, if you buy an item from a UK, any major UK retailer, okay, the, the consumer's law protects you. And, and it states that an item has to last a reasonable amount of time. What that means is that from the date of purchase, it should last you up to six years, okay, without any manufacturing defect and things like that. It does not include um, accidental dental tam damage or wear and tear. Wear, wear and tear means is that, that you, you've been scraping this, your keyboard's got little uh, uh, glossy mark and things like that. You scratch the screen and things like that. You've dropped it, dropped it or, or worst case, worse, you've accidentally spilled water over it. So that's a liquid damage. That's, that'll be categorized as, as an accidental damage. Those things are not covered under consumer's law. OK, but what's what is covered is, is that anything that's not been tampered with, OK, not been messed with, misused, abused, whatever it is you want to call it. OK, but then it becomes defective. That is kind of what I say is, 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 is a manufacturing defect. Now, when it comes to these flex, those flex should be bulletproof. OK, because of the how costly these assemblies are. Now, as far as I'm concerned that the unit is about four year old. So it's well within his threshold of six years. So I've made him aware that they can they can sort of have a look at the consumer's law um, and just recap what the consumer's law is. Are. So the, from the date of purchase up to six years, the item should last a reasonable amount of time. That's up to six years from the date of purchase, as I repeat. OK, and that includes any manufacturing defect. And quite clearly, that's a manufacturing defect. So if you've got a problem like this, uh, speak to Apple, make them aware of the concerns, the concerns you have. Make them aware of those. Also make them aware that you, you are aware of the consumer's law um, and and push come to shove. You'll take him into a small claim court. It will cost you about 85 quid. OK, more than likely, Apple representative won't be going there. You give them a bill for about five, six hundred pounds, whatever it is from an in, whatever it costs from an independent repair. Take that bill in or an estimate into the small claim court. Apply. Obviously, you'll have to apply for it first, um, get it approved. Then you go. Somebody will have to go from Apple if they don't uh, attend from Apple on on the day give you know been set by the small claim court. Then automatically the the, the claim will fall in your favour. Okay, and 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 then you will be awarded with, 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 with the cost, basically, and the Apple will have to pay for that. So so that's option one. Option two is if you don't want to go through all the hassle, which I've offered her, is to go go, go on to, uh, for example, eBay or, or various other sellers, look online and, and, you know, you can purchase, I can, I can always purchase an LCD. Now, as, as a goodwill of gesture, um, I'll put the LCD in for her. The fitting, there won't be any fitting cost. I'll do that for her as a goodwill of gesture, but uh, they'll have to cover the cost of the LCD, basically. That's what I've, that's as a second option. That's as, as, as much as I can do. That's that's my time, that basically. You know, I've, I've, repl I've already replaced, I have been trolled. 
first thing first is I've, I've already replaced this. OK, because I, I knew that there was something not right about about and the new one came in a packaging like this. They're, they're inexpensive, basically. But I knew right from the outset that this is some sort of an LCD flex because I do tons of laptop repairs where LVDS cables have failed. You got ripples on the screen and all this business. And then you soon as you replace the LVDS cable uh, or the LCD cable, if you'd like to call it, it, it fixes the problem. You know, so, yeah, here we are. Sadly, a common, common uh, manufacturing defect um, and, uh, you know, on an expensive item. So uh, that's all. Have a great weekend. Take care. Stay well, stay safe, and uh, I'll catch up with you on my next video. Bye for now.